Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. This time in uh, Marvel Champions and CG deck testing, I am testing out a War Machine Aggression deck that I built. I haven't played Aggression that much uh, in a while, so I decided to try the latest um, hero that has come out here in Finland with uh, Aggression using some of the newer Aggression cards. But we'll see how, how the deck functions and look uh, what I have in the deck in a moment. I am using uh, the tower defense scenario to test out the deck. So I have set up the scenario already. I have the new, uh, by the same token, environment stand here to ha host the Avengers tower environment. Uh, Proxima Midnight and Corvus Glaive are in, in play and they both have the uh, main schemes, so there are two main schemes in this scenario. Uh, I have the threat on the main schemes over here and the health of the uh, bosses or the villains here. And here is the focus defense which will uh, transfer from card to card. And per setup we have had to get the Black Order procedure into play. I'm just quickly checking. So we put the Avengers Tower environment in play, Stronghold side phase up, put the focus defense attachment in play, that's to this stage, each player says the encounter deck for a copy of Black Order procedure and puts it in play, engage with then shuffle the encounter deck, I have done that, and just checking that I have done this all, so, so reveal stage 2a, which is uh, this one, and put it into play next to this stage, so there are two main schemes and two villains in play, so we have done the setup, so that is that. And next up, let's check out uh, War Machine's aggression deck from uh, marvelcdb.com. Okay, and we are over on marvelcdb.com, and here is the War Machine aggression versus the tower defense deck I built. So nothing really fancy. I decided to go with the Avengers theme for this build because. After all, we are playing the Avengers uh, tower defense, so uh, we have the uh, allies. Oh, let's start from the beginning. So the first ally here is the uh, is Blade that came in the Mad Titan Shadow, and Blade has the Avenger uh, trait. And well, Blade is an um, interesting ally. It uh, it's a cheap ally to maybe block and. Uh, uh, you just have to spend uh, physical resources to activate him. Then, of course, we have Hulk. What aggression deck would be without Hulk? And uh, we don't have that many mental resources. We have some, but hopefully we can hit either the uh, energy or the physicals for activations on Hulk. Uh, then, of course, there is the Iron Man ally that comes with the War Machine. Uh, then we have Sentry. Uh, Sentry is a pretty good ally in my opinion. Uh, uh, Sentry has a lot of health and a good attack and good support. So uh, the only downside is to we get an extra encounter card, but I think we can deal with that on uh, standard difficulty. Then uh, Spider Girl is a decent ally cheap and effective. Then I haven't played with the Thor ally, so this is the Thor uh, Jane Foster ally, so just it was interested to see this ally in action, so decided to add it. Then maybe one of the more recent cars from Venom Pack is Fusilard. So Fusilad is an attack event, exhaust a weapon upgrade, you control deal 5 damage to an enemy. So uh, I wanted to add this because War Machine has uh, some pretty or or has many weapon uh, upgrades. So this is a pretty interesting card to use with uh, War Machine. Uh, for threat removal we have you will pay for that. So this is to when when we take attacks from Corvus Glaive or Proxima Midnight, we can remove threat from the main scheme 
or for from any scheme actually. So this is one way to remove threat in aggression. Then uh, we have hit and run, which is uh, a pretty fl flexible card from the Gamora set. So deal two damage to an enemy, enemy remove two threat from a scheme. So it uh, doubles uh, for uh, threat removal and damage dealing. And uh, I, I think this might be a good addition to aggression decks. Uh, then two copies of Into the Fray. Uh, this is another threat removal card and this only focuses on threat on the main scheme but that is the uh, most troublesome in this scenario so we need to get rid of that. And uh, I, there are a lot of low health minions so this is basically remove a minion and uh, remove uh, the excess damage dealt as threat from the main scheme. So. Uh, should be okay. Then uh, resources, we have the basic resources and the power of aggressions as we have a lot of um, aggression cards or events that need a lot of um, resources. And then we have the Avengers Tower. As I said, we are playing an Avengers deck, so I think all of the allies are Avengers, if I remember correctly. So. This will come into use, so we ha can have four allies to play at one time, and also we get cheap and the allies with the Avengers Tower. And if the uh, scenario goes poorly, we of course have to remove this because the Avengers Tower uh, environment will flip and tell us to remove all all of these from play. Uh, then we have boot camp, so boosting the attack of the allies is really good. Uh, we can uh, just try to uh, deal a, a lot of damage. If, it, if the threat is getting out of control, we can just uh, throttle up and try to deal uh, more damage. Uh, Queen Carrier, of course, is a staple um, resource generation card in the Avenger deck. So, using that. Then, a couple of in more interesting cards. So, God Slayer is a, a weapon upgrade. So. That is another upgrade we can uh, use for the full fusillades, and of course it gives us a good boost to attack the villains. And Yarnborn, a stable uh, weapon. So these are the two restricted uh, weapons we can have, so Yarnborn and Godslayer, and uh, use uh, physical resource deal 2 damage. This is mainly to be a, a weapon to uh, exhaust for the fusillade at least but that is basically the deck so uh, as I said I have set up the scenario and uh, we are ready to begin so I think we will begin the first turn so let's get going <laughs> So first up, let's draw our opening hand. So we have six cards to see. So uh, full auto, Avengers Tower, you will pay for that target strike, quick carrier, repulsive beam. So uh, I think we could actually try to uh, build up a bit before we do that much more. So I think we don't need the targeted strike and we don't need to uh, pay for that or full auto at the beginning. So I'm uh, shuffling these. We'll draw three more cards. A fusillade, scorched earth and full auto. Not really liking this start. I would have wanted to see one double resource or something like that, but it is what it is. Um, so I'm thinking of saving the Queen Carrier for next turn, actually. So, uh, first off, uh, yeah, let's uh, choose a War Machine card in our discard and uh, shuffle it back into our deck with the James Rhodes action. So 
so that is done. We'll flip to War Machine, so lock and loaded uh, response. After you change to this form, phase 5 ammo counters on War Machine, and I'm using these response ammo counters as uh, ammo counters. So, we have 5 ammo counters to play with, and um, well, actually, I'll use the full auto Scorch Earth uh, Fusillard to play the Queen Carrier. So, instead of the Avengers Tower, we'll keep the Avengers Tower in hand. So, I think it's more important to use the Queen Carrier, uh, play the Queen Carrier first. Uh, using the Queen Carrier, I'll play the Repulsor Beam, so I remove one ammo counter. Uh, then uh, deal 4 damage to an enemy, and I will defeat the Black Order uh, Besieger. Oh yeah, and uh, I forgot to do this. So after Black Order Besieger engages, you choose to either deal 1 damage to Avengers Tower, or deal 2 damage to your identity. And I'll, I'll put the damage on the Avengers Tower at this point. So there is one damage there, and this is defeated with the uh, repulsor beam. Uh, War machine will, uh, I think we are still building, so I try to keep threat low on this. So I'll remove one from here. That is our turn. We ready up. I'll keep the Avengers Tower in hand, so we'll draw back up to 5. Uh, sentry, Gauntlet Gun, Energy, and Lucillard. Okay. So, at the end of the uh, player phase, uh, attach this card to the other main scheme, so it uh, focus defense moves to under siege. I'll keep it like this, so it's... So... Uh, we'll add threat to the main schemes, so one goes here, one adds here. Then uh, Proxima Midnight attacks. I will defend with War Machine at this point uh, to keep the damage low. And um, let's see, just checking. So, post interrupt when this stage would complete to remove all threats from this stage instead. Then deal 6 damage per player, damage to Avengers Tower. And uh, Proxima Midnight, uh, first in order, when Proxima Midnight attacks you, choose to either deal 1 damage to Avengers Tower or Proxima Midnight gets plus 2 attacks for this attack. So at this point I'm giving the plus 2 attack. So uh, 4 uh, plus 2 is Six, so minus two, so we take four damage. Uh, that is not really nice at this point, but it is what it is. Then uh, we'll get an encounter card and uh, advance. So Proxima Midnight schemes for two plus two is four, so under siege uh, advances. We can't do anything about it, so we deal six damage to Avenger. Tower, so just a moment. So not looking that good. So the tower is already on six uh, or seven damage. So after uh, damage is placed here, if there is at least nine damage here, remove all of it, then flip Avengers Tower over. So not looking really good, but it is what it is. So. We remove all threat from the main scheme, and that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So this this could be a really short game, but uh, well, what can you do? First thing, I will use energy to play Avengers Tower. Then I will cheapen uh, Avengers uh, ally, play and use Queen Carrier, use Gauntlet Gun and Fusilard to play Sentry. And we'll deal one encounter card to us. And Sentry will attack. Uh, let's attack Corvus Glaive. 
for 3 damage. And that is our whole turn. We are ready up. And we'll draw back up to... 5. Then uh, we get the uh, target strike, missile launcher, into the fray, scorch bird and niche and spunker. We'll go, uh, end the turn, so this moves here. So uh, we'll add threat to the main schemes. And Corvus Clave uh, attacks. I will defend with War Machine. So uh, after Corvus Clave makes an undefended attack, discard the top card of the encounter deck, deal one damage to the Avengers Tower for each boost icon of that card. So uh, we defend it, so we don't have to do that. So uh, one plus two is three, so I'll take one damage. And then we get to encounter cards. And uh, of course, the same when this stage would com be completed, remove all, all threat from it instead, and then deal each player one face down and count the cards. So let's see what cards we get. So we get a uh, landing craft. Uh, when defeated, discard card from the top of the counter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion in play, engage with the player who defeated this scheme. And uh, we'll add an acceleration token. I'll just place it over here, so it affects both of these. And uh, it has two threats, so we pretty much need to get rid of it right away. And the other one is Raining Rainfire. Build three damage to the Avengers Tower, so... Well, that, that was a short-lived Avengers Tower, so three damage here. So, this flips. Uh, when revealed, discard each other Avengers Tower from play, force response after damage is placed here. If there is at least 9 damage here, the players lose the game. So, <laughs> uh, we lose the Avengers Tower, and uh, that is that. So, not much we can do because we don't have any ways to uh, stop those uh, treacheries from uh, triggering. So, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So I think we need to we need to try and get some uh, cards onto the table. Uh, I'll use the um, I'll use the Queen Carrier to play Missile Launcher. So I put the Missile Launcher here. Mm. Well. Uh, Sentry will just work to here and win this one. So we'll put a minion into play engage with you. So uh, we get Outrider. Discard one card at random from your hand. That is unfortunate. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we lose. Uh, of course, into the fray. Well, that is unfortunate, but uh, at least we have the. Still can use the other cards we have. Uh, we'll use the missile launcher to remove one ammo counter here. Deal two damage to an enemy, and I'll use the munitions bunker to play targeted strike to remove uh, one ammo counter from here and uh, remove three threat from a scheme, and I'll remove the threat from here. And we'll ready up. I'll keep the Scorch Earth in hand. Uh, actually, no, because I don't have the ammo counters for it. So, uh, we'll draw back up to five. One, two, three. Well, let's change it a bit. So, I'm keeping the munitions bunker in hand. So, we might be able to play it next turn. 
Uh, we get strength, blade into the fray, guard slayer, ammunition bunker. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat. To oh yeah, and this transfers here. So we add the threats. Uh, Proxima midnight attacks. I will defend with war machine. So um, I think we have to give one damage to the tower. And uh, so it's two plus one, and if damage from this attack defeats an ally, well, it doesn't, so we just ignore it. So we take one damage. And then counter card is uh, Black Order Procedure. I'll take the two damage. And it can engage us. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So we are in a bit of a pickle here. I think we need to uh, remove threat, go to Alter Ego, and try to heal. So I will use God Slayer to play Blade just to build up. I'll use Strength and the Queen Carrier to play into the fray. So we'll uh, deal 3 damage here, and uh, then we remove the 2 threat from our main scheme. And uh, I will use 1 ammo counter before we go down to deal 2 damage here. And uh, Sentry will hit for 3 damage here. And uh, we'll actually discard munitions longer to hit with blade. We'll hit uh, for two damage here. And we'll flip to here uh, to alter ego. So we'll uh, remove the ammo counters, uh, ready up everything. Uh, draw back up to six. Then this transfers here. So we have a fusillade, upgraded Cassis, Iron Man, Thor, Repulsive Beam, and you'll pay for that. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. So we add threats onto the main scheme. So one here, one here. Uh, Corvus Clave schemes for two plus uh, discard one card at random from hand. So we'll add the two here. We'll discard one card. It is uh, Repulsor Beam and we'll get an encounter card. It is uh, Proxima's power. Uh, Proxima Midnight activates against you. So, uh, Proxima will scheme for one plus add the other villain scheme at attack to this villain scheme and attack for this activation. So, plus two, so three. So, we are at four. Okay. Well, uh, we are, we really need to get. Um, threat removed soon. Well, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, um, let's see what we can do. We could play Fusillard and uh, start just rushing down the villains. I think that is our plan. So, I'll use Thor, you're, you'll pay for that, and Iron Man to play Upgrade Cassis. I'll keep the Fusillard in hand for the moment. Actually, I'll uh, use the Fusillard. 
I'll keep Iron Man so I have a strength resource to activate Blade. Mm. We'll heal for 3 damage here. We'll flip. Uh, we get 5 ammo counters. Yeah. And uh, we will. Hmm. We want to remove threat or attack, so. That is a good question. Because we could um, advance, but. I think we will uh, thwart to here. And then we will attack uh, to here. And then we have to discard Araman. I'll you oh yeah, and uh, because we have the upgraded classes we get the puff when we go to hero mode. And we have to exhaust this. But we have the tough. So uh, we use one ammo counter and uh, exhaust this to deal two damage here. And uh, that is our turn. We uh, ready up. Draw back up to five. We get uh, shoulder cannon, yarn born. We pay for that. Hit and run and target. Let's strike. And uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat on both ski. Oh, yeah, this goes here. So we add one here and one here. Um, Proxima Midnight attacks, and I will give uh, Proxima plus two damage. Take it with War Machine. So. Uh, Four plus uh, heal two damage from the active villain and give it a tough status bar. So Proxima games tough. Uh, heals two damage, and uh, we need to get both to zero to advance the stage. So that is why we, uh, Proxima was at zero but wasn't defeated. So that was the boost, and uh, we lose the tough here. Encounter card uh, is. Proxima Spear, uh, that's the Proxima. Uh, Proxima Midnight Attack gains Overkill and Piercing. Hero action, take one damage and spend uh, uh, energy and a mental resource. Discard this card. Okay, I'll put it over here. Like so. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, I think we need to get rid of some threat on the main schemes. So, um, let's see. I think Blade will block for us. So we won't use Blade. Sentry could just uh, hit Corvus Glaive. So I will use Queen Carrier and. Uh, You'll pay for that to play Shoulder Cannon. I will use Shoulder Cannon to deal 1 damage here to remove the tough. And I'll use an ammo counter to ready it. Then uh, oh, do I really want to remove the Yeah, I think I do. I will Use hit and run to play Yarnborn. Then uh, I'll use the missile launcher to uh, deal two damage here. Sentry will defeat Corvus Slave, so both of these are defeated, and we'll put uh, Corvus Slave. Uh, phase 2 in play. It is basically the same 
and uh, we have uh, 11 hit points to deal with. So we'll put the 11 hit points here, then uh, we'll attach, we'll put Proxima Midnight 2 in play, so It is the same body, uh, 12 hit points. Uh, 12 hit points we need to deal with. Okay. And now... I think I will just attack for two here. I will use the shoulder cannon twice to heal damage over uh, here. Well, uh, let's not uh, deal damage to both because we might have to heal the active active enemy. So we are at 8 damage on Proxima and I will discard the targeted strike and uh, well uh, we'll use blade and uh, blade will go away but we'll uh, thwart for one here. So uh, yeah that is turned, except we'll trip to uh, Alter Ego, we're ready up. And, uh, oh yeah, I think Sentry also got defeated from uh, taking too much consequential damage. I might be wrong, but it is what it is. <laughs> Getting a bit um, busy here with all of the damage going on everywhere. So we'll draw back up to 6. Uh, we get boot, <laughs> boot camp a bit late. Uh, power of Aggression, Hulk, Spider-Girl, Countless Gun and Genius. So I think Hulk will make an appearance next turn. Uh, this transfers here. We'll add one threat to both of the schemes. Then uh, Corvus Clave will uh, scheme for 2 plus 3. So that is actually good because we just remove all of the threat, deal ourselves an extra encounter card. And uh, then we get encounter cards. So we get the landing craft. Uh, that, is, that is not nice. I, it gives an, an acceleration token, comes into play with two threats. And when defeated, we discard cards until we hit a minion. Then we get the city under attack. Uh, so we can't even uh, remove threat now from the schemes, uh, main schemes. So it's hinder one also, so it's three threats. And uh, when defeated, the player who defeated this scheme draws one card. So we could get a reward by defeating that, but that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, well, uh, yeah, this should be ready. I think uh, we'll just heal for three damage. Uh, we'll flip, uh, we'll play Hulk. And uh, before we play anything else, uh, this is in play. Oh yeah, and we take the path. Actually, hmm, let's let's not flip yet because if we don't want to lose stuff if we hit some uh, the energy icon. So uh, Hulk comes into play. We will attack with Hulk and uh, we will attack Proxima Midnight. So three damage here and. Uh, uh, we'll flip and it's uh, energy icon so we deal one damage to each character 
so uh, Hulk takes one uh, more damage and uh, this goes to four okay then uh, we'll play spider girl so we don't have any minions to confuse so spider girl just comes in play hits for two damage here then we will yeah we healed already but then we'll flip then we'll take the tough then uh, we'll use oh yeah we get the ammo counters so we have five ammo counters We'll use one to missile launcher, deal two damage here, and uh, then we'll use queen carrier. And actually, yeah, we we'll play the gauntlet gun. Then we'll use shoulder cannon once to deal one damage here, and that is our turn. So we need to deal nine damage next turn. To win the scenario. So we're ready up. We draw back up to uh, five. So uh, we have to shuffle. We get an extra encounter card for going uh, through our deck. And uh, yeah, this transfers here. So uh, one uh, thing I noticed, I, I should have warded for one, because now the Under Siege will advance. And that is not good. We probably just have, we, we don't have a choice but to add the damage onto the Avengers Tower. So hopefully we don't hit an advance or anything like that, so... Okay. So uh, we'll go to the villain phase, we add two threat to both schemes, so... Well, this just advances and this gets two. No, no, this gets two. So we deal six damage to the... I'll actually use the red one here. So we get six damage here. So we are two damage away from losing the game. So, pretty tight. Uh, Proxima Midnight will attack, I'll give her plus 2 attack, I'll take it with War Machine. So, uh, boost card is 1, so we'll lose the tough. And uh, we get encounter cards. Okay, so... Mm, yeah, so advance. Uh, 1 plus 1 is 2. Well, still in the game. And then the other one is Corvus Scanning. Uh, so Corvus Glaive activates against you. So Corvus Glaive attacks. I will defend with War Machine. So 2 plus... Uh, that's the other attack. So plus 3. So... Uh, it is... 5. So we take 3 damage. That is that. And it was defended, so uh, we don't take the uh, damage onto the tower. And that is the uh, villain phase. Just to make sure. Yeah, we resolved both in counter so let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, and uh, I forgot to uh, draw the cards for War Machine, so. Just draw the four cards, see what we get. Well, we get the fusillade, which will help us defeat the enemies. So, uh, first thing first, I will uh, I will play the fusillade. I'll use boot camp and Iron Man for it. Actually, no, we'll play Iron Man. So I'll use the Queen Carrier, and uh, no, I'll. Use the power of aggression to play Fusillade. We'll exhaust the Armborn to deal 5 damage here. And I'll use Queen Carrier, Boot Camp, and Scorch Earth to play Iron Man. And 
Iron Man will hit for two damage here. Then I have plenty of choices, but of course we will uh, Hulk out and Hulk will attack, dealing three damage here. And uh, we will pick up energy token, so everybody takes one more damage. How else would it go? So yeah, that is the tower defense with uh, War Machine Aggression defeated. Um, it was pretty close. We were really near losing the game because of those two advances. One at the immediate start of the game and one at the end of the game with Proxima Midnight, which ended up uh, triggering under siege twice, which basically dealt a lot of damage onto the Avengers Tower, but uh, still we were able to defeat um, the scenario with uh, War Machine uh, aggression. Uh, this game really didn't change my opinion on aggression uh, in true solo. It is not really... It, it doesn't really feel like dealing a lot of damage. It's just trying to survive uh, and not being able to thwart enough. Uh, that is how I feel when playing aggression. So uh, I, I enjoy aggression more in the multiplayer, but still it is fun to try out the new aggression cards from time to time. So. Hope you guys liked this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.